In this demo, we will show how to use the Anybus Communicator to enable a Modbus RTU device to communicate on an industrial network. We're using a regulator from ABB called Commander C100 as an example of an RTU device, and we want this regulator to connect to a Profibus network. We can use the same procedure to make it communicate with any other network as well. I have connected the ABB controller to the Anybus communicator via the serial port. The communicator is in turn connected to my computer so I can set up the configuration. I start the Anybus configuration manager which is included in the product package from HMS and is also downloadable from anybus.com. Before I start I can choose if I want to use the wizard mode which includes a lot of default values and is a bit quicker or start a blank configuration from scratch. I choose the wizard mode, which is best for a Modbus RTU device. Also, it's almost lunchtime and I'm a bit hungry. The first thing I need to choose is which industrial network I want to connect to. In this case, we're connecting to Profibus, but the communicator has support for most major field bus or industrial Ethernet networks. I click Next and now get to select the sub-network settings the physical properties for my Modbus RTU device. This information can be found in the manual of the ABB Commander C100. I can also get some help through the Help pane, available to the right throughout the wizard. The ABB Commander C100 uses RS485 as the physical interface. It has a bitrate of 9600, even parity, 8 data bits and 1 stop bit. I click Next to move on to step number 3, where I specify the device type and also set up which parameters that should be available. I start by naming my device ABB C100 Regulator. I know that there are four parameters that I want to read and write from the device, so I click Create Parameters four times. The first is the Local Setpoint which is a write command to the C100 from the Profibus network. This is found on address number 42 and the length is one word. The second parameter is process variable, which is a read parameter. It is on address 12 and also one word long. The third is output value, also a read parameter on address 14. And the fourth parameter is auto or manual control. This is a read parameter which can be found on register address 15 and it's also one word in length. At this point it's a good idea to save the device configuration. This way I have a configuration file that I can reuse later on if I want to set up another ABB Commander C100. I can easily load my saved configuration file by clicking load device. OK, now I move on to the next step, which is where I set up the C100 as a node to my communicator. I click Create Node and name it R Regulator. I want it to have sub-network address 1 and I want to apply the device type that I've just created, ABB C100 Regulator. I click Next to move on to step 5, which is where I select the parameters I want to use for each node. For example, I can choose to use only two of the parameters I specified earlier. To do that, I click Add Parameter twice and select two of the parameters I've set up previously. Let's say Local Setpoint to be able to write to the device and Output Value from the device. By clicking Next, I get to the last step, which is a summary of my configuration. I can save this to my computer to document what I've just done. And that's pretty much it. I've entered all the information needed to enable communication between my ABB Commander C100 and Profibus. I can check my configuration and see the values I just inserted. I can see that we've chosen Profibus and I can also see the default values for my Anybus communicator. Generally, the default values are okay, but you can make adjustments if needed. By going into the subnetwork, I find our regulator with the two parameters beneath it, just as we set up. By going into these parameters, I can change details, such as for example the update mode, 
from cyclically to on data change. So now the data is only sent if there is a change. I can also state what I want to do if the network goes offline. Should the data freeze at its current value or be cleared entirely? To finalize my configuration, I need to download the configuration to my communicator. To do this, I first need to select my COM port, which I do under Tools and Port. In this case, I choose COM port 5. I now connect, and I can see a green light at the bottom of my screen, meaning that the communicator and my computer are connected. I click Download and state the name for my configuration. By clicking OK, the configuration is downloaded to the communicator. I can disconnect, and we're finished.